Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I'm gonna to be trying out another Timu product, and this one has proven to be pretty popular over on that site. This is a portable and collapsible washing machine, and this one has an eight liter capacity, and it costs $38.17. So before we even get too far into it, let me just make sure that everything is clear and the fact that this is not meant to be a replacement for like an actual home-based washing machine that you probably have in a laundry room. This has an eight liter capacity, is meant to wash small items, and a small quantity of those small items, such as baby clothes, towels, underwear, socks, bras, you know, like that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna be trying this thing out, but first let me show you everything that comes with it and how it all works. Now, right here in this base form, you see that it is collapsible and it also has some pretty decent suction feet on the bottom of it. So the fact where if I just kind of just put it down on the table and I don't even press it down, it sticks pretty darn well, so that's good. So the first thing that we're gonna do is unfold it. We're gonna take it off the table and just kinda get one end unfolded and then get the other end unfolded, put it down like that. And this is how tall it's gonna be. It's not very tall. It also comes with this little agitator basket right here that's meant for the spin cycle and that goes right down into the washing machine and then you have this lid right here. And then over on this side is the drain plug. So once you fill it with water and you get finished with the wash cycle or the rinse cycle, whatever you're trying to do, you just pop this open and then the water's gonna drain into your sink. All right. So over on the back is where you would plug in the washing machine with the power adapter and it has uh, three different modes. Uh, you press it once and then it gives you a 10 minute mode. You press it twice, it gives you a 15 minute mode and then you do it a third time and that's gonna be the uh, agitator spin cycling mode and that one only lasts for two minutes, all right? So this is a pretty simple device. Let me show you the inside and how this thing works. So there's really not much to it. You have this agitator here that can spin. And then when you're ready to do the rinse cycle, the spin cycle, you can just put the basket over in there and just give it a little push to kind of just lock it down and it'll just spin around in this basket. And then when you want to take it out, you know, you just lift it up, give a little bit of muscle so that you can pull it up. And that is pretty much it. Let me get this plugged in. So even though it may look like there's four buttons here, there's only really one button, and that's the one down here that says switch. You press and hold that one for two seconds. That's gonna start the 10 minute cycle. You press it again, it starts the 15 minute cycle. Press it again, and then it does the spin cycle. And then you press and hold it in order to turn it off. So dead simple to operate. So I'm gonna be trying this out by putting a few different clothing items inside of this washing machine and seeing how well it performs. But at the same time, I wanna do more than just put some detergent into some water and then just see how good it smells. Cause of course it's gonna smell good after you put detergent in water and then put clothes over inside of it. I wanna see how well it's gonna do with actually taking care of stains. Now, baby clothes are one of the things that they say you should wash inside here and I just so happen to have a little white onesie right here from when one of my kids was really little. And you know what kids tend to do? They tend to make a mess. They tend to make spills. So I got here some fruit punch and I am going to stain this onesie. Just like this, you know? And I'm gonna stain it again, just like that. I plan on drinking this later so I don't wanna waste too much, but yeah. That's a properly stained onesie with some fruit punch on a white garment. And I wanna see if this is going to actually get the stain out in addition to just washing some of my other clothes such as some socks here and my real life underwear that I'm also gonna be washing. And main thing is just to see if it can get that stain out. Now I know it's not just the machine, you also have to use some decent detergent in order to get the best stain fighting abilities. So I have this little sample packet of all with stain lifters. And I'm gonna put some of this directly onto the onesie. And then I'm also gonna put some inside of this uh, water reservoir here. And I'm gonna run a 15 minute cycle and we'll see if the stain is lifted and how well this can actually perform. Here we go. 
So here is the stained onesie right here. So I'm gonna do as the instructions say, and I'm gonna add a little bit to this stain and just kind of rub it in like this. And now I'm just gonna put this over into the wash along with a few more clothing items. Now remember, we don't want to overload this thing. So I'm just gonna put a couple pairs of underwear in there along with the onesie and a pair of socks. And I'm gonna pour some of this detergent over in there. I think that should be really more than enough. And let's start the cycle. Let's do 15 minutes for maximum stain fighting abilities. Here we go. Now, the less that you have in there, the more the impeller is going to be able to move these clothes around. So it goes clockwise for a little bit, and then it goes counterclockwise, and the cycle will continue until the 15 minutes or 10 minutes is up. So it's gonna stop right there and then go the other way. All right, so I'm just gonna pop the lid on this thing. Try not to collapse it in the process. I'm just gonna put it just like that. All I need is for the top to be on. And we're gonna come back in 15 minutes, do the spin cycle and see if that stain has been removed. The 15 minute wash cycle is complete. Let's see how we did. And it gave three beeps after after it was done. So check out all these suds. But what, what I really want to see is if they got this stain out of this onesie. So let's take a look at it. Can you see the stain? I don't I don't see it. I'm trying to avoid my shadow being behind the onesie, but that's one side. That's the other side. Yeah. Looks like it got rid of that, uh, that fruit punch stain. So as far as I'm concerned, if you use the right kind of detergent, if this can get fruit punch out of a white onesie, then it shouldn't have any problems hiding the stains from some of your other clothes that are not pure white. But hey, darn good job, I do have to say. Now I do need to drain this water, but one of the reasons why I decided to do the wash in here and not in the bathroom or near some place that has a sink is because I just wanna show how portable this can be because in many people's situations, they may not have a space like that available and they really do need to just carry this around. So this does have a handle and even with the water in here, see it's not very heavy to pick up and just kind of tote around, you know? So you can do this in any room that you want and you won't have to worry, worry about it being a big hassle when you need to move it somewhere to drain the water. So I'm just going to unplug it from the back. I'm going to drain this water. And at that point, I'm just going to put it through a spin cycle. So now all the water has been drained and I did not squeeze these out. So if I just take this little onesie here, I just give it a little bit of squeeze. You see there's still plenty of water in there. And that's because I want to use this basket for the spin cycle. So what I'm gonna do is just take my clothes, the onesie, the underwear, and the socks, and just kind of put it over in here. There's still a lot of water left in some of these socks in this underwear. And I'm just gonna put this down in here if I can orientate it correctly, make sure it is nice and secure. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. Uh, well, it's down in there. I'm giving it a push. It seems like it's gonna stay. All right, so let's just close this up and run this for the two minutes on this last setting. Look at it go. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, it looks like my sock fell off. So my sock is no longer inside of the basket. That's okay. Just make sure everything is pushed down. But that's the spin. And we're gonna check back in a couple of minutes. Look at it rocking in there. And even if there's still water in there, it's okay. We'll just squeeze it out. And uh, yeah, that'll be all. Two minutes is up. Let's take a look at the clothes here so we can at least see how much is left in there. You see down in there? Now, yeah, my sock did, you know, fall out of the basket. So I'll rinse that out separately. But you see here, we got combination of suds and some water in that basket. 
And then at the bottom of here, you see that we also have some suds at the bottom, just like that. Um, as for these clothes, let's see if we can squeeze them, get some water out. Here's one pair of underwear. Let's give this a squeeze. I can feel that there's water kind of like gathering at the bottom. There we go. So those need a squeeze. Let's go for this onesie. So yeah, there's still there's still water in there. It's better than it was before, but you know, it's not it's not as good as it was like an actual washing machine washing machine. You know, but I still think that's fairly that's pretty decent for the price that you pay for this. And I would also recommend that uh, depending on how many suds that you use, it might be a good idea to run another uh, brief cycle with just water in there, just so you can get out all of the all of the soap, and then run another uh, rinse cycle just to make sure that there's no soap. And then at this point, you can either hang them up to dry. If you have a dryer, you can use that. Or you can do like I'm going to do and test out another product that I got from Timu. And these are four wool dryer balls. I paid $4.18 for these six dryer balls. And as usual, if you want either this washing machine or these dryer balls, the links will be down in the description so that you can find them directly there on Timu. But I'm going to put these in my dryer and I'm going to see if I see a noticeable drying difference in drying time and how fluffy the clothes are or whatever after these are nice and dry. So the clothes are all nice and dry now and I also underwent a wardrobe change myself because my air conditioner isn't working properly and it is hot in here. But anyway, I didn't really notice much of a difference in drying time with those wool dryer balls, but from what I understand, those work better with larger loads because it helps to keep the clothes from sticking together and clumping together when they're tumbling around in the dryer. And then that in turn allows for more heat circulation in the dryer balls. And that's what years of dryer, uh, wool dryer balls reviews have said. So they may work better with a larger load, but going back to the clothes that I washed inside of this washing machine, I just wanted to show you again this white onesie and, you know, call and just take a look at where the stain was, you know, and just call attention to that. So that's the front. And then here is the back. And I am not noticing any trace of that fruit punch anywhere on here. And that is just really, really awesome. You know, because even though it, the detergent was placed in and massaged in, it was this bad boy right here that did all the agitating. So credit must be given where it is due. And then some of the other clothes that I did, you know, got the underwear, got the socks and, you know, giving them a smell they smell nice and clean. I didn't use any fabric softener or anything like that. Just the dryer balls and that detergent that I used didn't have a heavy scent to it. So it just kind of smells clean, you know, not really fragrant, but it's just clean. I do have to say I am properly impressed with what this little machine was able to do in getting out that stain and leaving behind some clothes that really do just smell nice and fresh, you know. Um, with something like this, I think can be very useful for people who are in smaller spaces. I'm thinking like college students inside dorms, people who live in apartments that don't have access to washing machines. And even for people like myself who do fortunately have access to a full size washer and dryer, sometimes things like this might happen or sometimes you might need to just get that pair of socks washed or get that tie washed or just do a really small load and you don't want to put it inside of the big washing machine in order to do it because it'll feel a little bit too waste well, this is something that can really, really, truly come in handy. And I am properly impressed. So as long as you don't overload this machine, and as long as you still follow the regular uh, rules, if you will, for, for doing laundry, you know, not over filling it with detergent and giving yourself a nice rinse and then, you know, making sure all the water is squeezed out and everything like that. You can get some pretty darn good results as well. So darn good job, portable washing machine. I don't know how long it's going to last, but for 31 bucks, if it can last, you know, a handful of months, I'll say, hey, 
I think that that was worth it with regular use. So once again, if you want to get your hands on this, check the link in the description. I'll have a link to uh, Timu, uh, the exact page where I purchased this from, and you can try it out for yourself. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, including more reviews from things from Timu, I do have some more coming up. Be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss it. So until then, take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you next time.